Today, I'm working on the Grand Canyon at the sunset. There is a little sketch that I have prepared. I'll be using three colors, Rose Sienna, Winston Red, and French Ultramarine. There are two brushes we would need. One is the wider brush, Haki, and the other, Pointy Bristle. We will start with misting our paper with water. Make sure there is not too much water and you don't see puddles. Then use your hockey brush in order to transfer water around the paper equally. You can see on the sketch that three fourths is the land, the rest is the sky. I made a second sketch as well with a single application of the color to see the difference. While the paper is still moist, start applying a single wash of the color Raw Sienna. Start with the three fours for the horizon line and equally move your color all the way down. When mixing Sienna and red, you'll get a more orangey color, which you will also apply from the top, moving to the bottom. This time you don't need to make sure that it is a solid color. Make lines for the lines of the surface of the Grand Canyon, different layers of different time. If you don't want to wait when the paper fully dries, use your hair dryer. Stage 2. Applying the blue colors on the fully dry paper, outlining the shapes of the rocks. This stage might take the longest time. I'm trying to understand the formation of the pyramids. First outlining and then using solid color to paint the shadows of the Grand Canyon. If dripping happens, not to worry. Just use a paper towel in order to remove extras. I am not just using French Ultramarine. I am mixing with some other colors, for example, purple-like color that I made by mixing red and French Ultramarine. Once I'm done with the main shapes, time to make some textures. Use the side of your brush that shouldn't be very moist in order to drag paint across horizontally. You can practice first on the side paper. You'll get more texture if your paper is rough. While you're waiting for the lower part of painting to dry, let's work on the sky. Use your hockey brush in order to moist just the part of the sky. Then choose the orange color to be applied on the lower part and the blue color to be applied on the top part of the sky. Make sure you blend it very nicely. You could use a somewhat dry brush or a moist paper towel in order to remove the sharp line to blend the colors better. I am mostly painting on the wall, that's why you see many drippings, which of course could be fixed with paper. The next step is to apply red color for the layers of the Grand Canyon rock. Take as much time as you need and add as more details as necessary. I hope your painting turned out very good and you've studied something new. Ask any questions on the commentary to this video and visit my website ekaterina-smirnova.com.